Oh yeah. Man, I love that car. It is such an awesome car. Today is Wednesday, guys. I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week so far. I'm uh, sorry about yesterday's video. I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uploaded it yesterday to uh, YouTube, but apparently I made it private so that uh, no one could see it. So uh, I adjusted that this morning and uh, it is now live for you guys to see and view. But uh, that BMW is on its way to being finished. Uh, we've wrapped pretty much every panel in uh, the suede's here, ready to go. Uh, the headliner is actually sitting on top of Shifty there. Man, that truck is becoming a permanent fixture of this shop and I'm getting kind of tired of it. So uh, real soon I'm gonna be working on this bad boy and getting the beef out of here, let me tell you. Anyhow, so we've got, I believe a 2014 or 2015 Ford Explorer and uh, we're gonna be doing another one of those JL Stealth boxes in it. What's going on, Dame? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this sucker in and uh, start installing that stealth box, guys. But yeah, this uh, 850 is on its way. We're gonna be getting the headliner finished up hopefully later this afternoon. And uh, then we can start working on the audio system. It's jobs like this that hold me up from working on Shifty. I know that uh, all you guys are getting real like, oh, what's going on with Shifty? And you guys gotta start working on it. And da -da 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 -da. trust me, like I want that truck out of here more than you could possibly imagine. Like, I mean, it's becoming a permanent fixture. Like, look at this. I'm just, just going to start piling stuff all over it now. But, uh, yeah, it's close. All the wiring's ready to go. We've just got to focus another day on it, right? One more day, and she should be good to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this Ford Explorer into the shop, and uh, I'll show you what's up. All right, so this is the JL Stealth Box, guys. Ooh, the unboxing, there it goes, all right. So here it is here, looks like a single 10. Maybe Damien will pull that bad boy out of here. There we go, very nice. I'm not sure where this thing goes in the car quite yet. Looks like it goes somewhere quite deep. Like deep, 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 deep. Grab those instructions there. Hey, there's a picture. Is there a picture of where it's supposed to go? Like oh, look, it's like a real stealth box. Like it's like, it's like tucked away, hidden. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out where this bad boy is going. So we got the JL stealth box. Uh, gonna do a JX 501D. This is a new, these are new bad boy amplifiers. Got a uh, base control knob here, T spec amp kit. Some of you guys were asking why I use amp kits. It's actually a really more cost-effective way of doing things for clients. So we like to keep our budgets down if we can. Just reading these instructions. Look a little bit involved, but not a big deal. Goes, so, so it actually goes, the goes behind the factory panel. It goes where the factory woofer. Well, it goes where the factory woofer is supposed to go. Cool. So uh, right on. So we'll go ahead and start removing the panels back there. And uh, I think Damien will start uh, prepping the dash for the... Uh, Amplifier to go in the back. Got that panel off. Maybe we'll hide the amplifier. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing all this stuff, and uh, I'll get back at you soon. All right. Step one is to uh, fold down all of these seats, and then uh, remove this trim panel from this area here, and then uh, remove the uh, seat belt here with a 13 mil. All right, so the next step here is to remove this sill panel. You wanna flip up those seats there as per the instructions and uh, start removing uh, the rear sill panel. And uh, there'll be a harness attached to this that you'll have to uh, disconnect. Here's that harness we're speaking about here. So it's just a little quick tab here and uh, the sucker should come right off. To remove these little hooks here. Holy. Those suckers are in there pretty good, but uh, they just unthread. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. All right, so the next step from there is to remove this sill plate. Again, doing this one-handed, guys, is a little bit difficult. There we are. And up she comes. Just a like of that, a very nice. All right, the next step is to remove all of the person's belongings that are in the vehicle and uh, clear out their storage unit 
and uh, that should take about five or six minutes or so and then I'll get on to the next step. All right, moving along. All right, so the next step is to uh, start unclipping the side panel here and uh, removing it from the location. Okay, so once you've uh, basically unclipped this panel to this stage, you'll work your way to the back here, unclip this side, and uh, the entire panel should remove out of the vehicle. And I'm not gonna do this one-handed, guys, so I'll be right back. All right, so one more clip here for the uh, speaker that's back here. And uh, this sucker should come undone pretty easily. And uh, now we can start modifying our panel. All right, guys, so now that we've got the uh, panel removed, the next step is to go ahead and uh, start drilling out all of these plastic welds so we can get the enclosure installed. Make sure you oil your tools daily, boys. And once you've ground down all those welds, you can just take a flathead and uh, each of the welds should just pop up like, uh, like that. There we go. Panel removed. Next step is once that's removed, typically a factory woofer goes in this location in the back, but uh, in our model, uh, there was that pocket that you guys just saw. So there'd be a grill here, but uh, because there is no grill, we still need to remove all these plastic welds that are here and then remove that outer piece. Okay, so now with the uh, little trim ring removed out of that location, that comes out of the way. They now want you to trim this area out as per the instructions. It actually gives you a little dotted line thing here. Trim the grill opening, side opening, cutting on the indicated lines, top and bottom portions of the grill opening need to be removed, but the sides will remain. So these sides here will remain, and these two bottom pieces will go, and the objective is to get it to look like that, as you can see. Okay, so I've marked out my cut lines with some black permanent marker there as per the instructions. And uh, now I'm gonna use my zip tool or my uh, air saw and cut that out. Okay, so I've cut my my uh, piece of plastic out here, and then I just gave a little touch up with my uh, die grinder, so it's a nice clean hole. Next step is to uh, put this panel back in place so we can start taking our measurements for the hole that will mount the stealth box. There's the panel reinstalled just temporarily, and uh, now the next step is to remove the woofer from the box the panel reinstalled and you get the box reinstalled they want you to take a half inch drill and drill through the hole right here that way you can mount the box After you've drilled your hole here they want you to measure one inch and eighth up from this hole and drill a one inch hole above it all right so we're gonna go ahead and measure one and one eighth above middle of the hole here doesn't have to be super accurate but closer the better and there we are and we're gonna go ahead and drill a uh, 5 8 hole first right here So now that we've got our hole drilled here, just gonna remove the airline. And uh, the objective is, is to get this clip right here, in and behind. There, so that way we can go ahead and mount our box. Okay, so our U-nut is now in place. 
and we can take the supplied threaded nut and thread it in to the supplied U-nut. Like so. That the wire has been routed through. Uh, next step is to install the wire and then install the box. All right, using the supplied hardware, we can go ahead and start mounting up our box. Washer, block washer, and nut. Okay. Alrighty, so our box is nicely mounted and it's basically an integral part of the vehicle at this point now, so it looks good. Next step is to reinstall the woofer. Alrighty then, so now that the woofer is installed into the enclosure, it's a nice solid enclosure. You want to make sure that sucker is nice and tight against the vehicle anyways, uh, as it's going to reverberate a lot of the sounds from the woofer throughout the vehicle. So if it's not tightened down, you'll probably hear a lot of vibrations uh, versus bass, which is not what you want. So you want to get as much bass sound through the entire vehicle as possible. That's kind of how these stealth boxes work. Uh, now that that's reinstalled, our next objective is to reinstall our seatbelt, put that cover back on, and then reinstall our sill plate down there. Ready then, so the uh, woofer is installed back there nicely, as you can see, and uh, we got the wire ran up, and uh, we are installing the amplifier underneath of the driver's seat. So, big D-man's working on that. These nuts. And uh, he's just getting the uh, wiring done here. Doing a slick job as usual. Very nice. And I got worms in my bum and I don't know. <laughs> worms in my bum and I don't know. I got worms in my bum and they squirm. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord, you might want to get that junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carphonics Records, eh? <laughs> Anyways, so he's going to just finish up this uh, amplifier underneath of the seat here. And uh, we'll probably give it a little bit of a demo before we put the seat back on. Uh, we'll probably end up getting an airbag code because of it, but that's okay. We can clear it after with our scan tool. And um, yeah, I'll show you what's up after, guys. Figure I get some sautering action going on here. Some sauter. You got some sauter going on, my friend. <laughs> Dirty solder joints. Dirty, Dirty solder joints. It's fucking grimy. Oh, I'm really getting the shot. Really getting the shot. You getting the shot, you getting the chooch? Getting the chooch right up in the camera. Oh, yeah. Very good. Looks good. Looks good. Getting right. it in you. <laughs> getting it in you. Yeah, I love the way that soldering uh, soldering smoke smells, but it's totally not good for you, right? So under the hood here, I guess we'll check that out now here too. Everything's uh, got our, our fuse holder mounted and our wire mounted here. Good job, Dan, that looks good. Right on, things are looking good. So I got my own truck in here for once. It doesn't really happen too often, uh, but I got some goodies for it that I'm gonna show you here shortly. Um, but uh, here they are. So I got an AFE power cold air intake for it. Do a lot of hauling and uh, driving. And I figured with the MBRP exhaust, this would be a uh, nice addition. That's what it looks like there. It's for the five liter. Uh, I obviously need to get a brake controller so I bought a brake controller and then I bought the plug-and-play harness for that another thing that kind of bothered me about the truck is that uh, when I picked it up it didn't have a factory installed uh, trailer hitch on it so they had a aftermarket trailer hitch installed and uh, I've never really been overly pleased with the way that the wiring was done down here not a huge fan Plus, they don't give you any stainless hardware. So, you know, whatever brand of hitch this is, this is called a hidden hitch. Uh, not a big fan of that. You know, this looks like shit, in my opinion. You know, the rusted hardware, and it's kind of really exposed. So, and not only that, but it doesn't have uh, the uh, brake, trailer brake wiring, or the 12 volt wiring on it already, which is absolutely ridiculous in my mind. So, uh, this plugs into a factory harness that's way up underneath the truck right here. I wonder if we can show you that. It's kind of like in that area right there. And uh, for some reason, they don't include the, like the, the brake and the 12 volt and all that stuff. So you can either jumper it over and, you know, just have a big cobbly mess back there. Or do what I did and uh, you can just get the uh, factory trailer harness that goes in that harness has all of my connections here, like my power, ground, 
left, right turn signal, brake, 12 volt, and uh, charge wires. And then you can go to the dealership and pick up uh, one of these trailer plugs, which is this one right here. And this could snap right into the bumper and it'll be like an OEM look, which is nice. It'll get rid of that and it's a lot better sealed and so on and so forth. And then I also got a new plate cover for the front because uh, I saw a bird come pretty close to my car here, my truck, the other day. And I wasn't sure if I hit it or not, but as you can see, it totally did. So I need to replace that. So for today, because I am taking the trailer home for the long weekend, uh, I need to get the trailer brake wiring all done. So I'm going to go ahead by starting on the uh, trailer brake controller up front. And it's fairly straightforward. There's a plug that's actually right here on the dash behind this panel right here. Uh, you guys can't see that at all, but uh, it's right here basically. There's a uh, change cup holder and uh, there's the wiring for it is right behind that. So I'm gonna pull that out, plug and play that uh, brake controller and mount it. And then I'm gonna go move on to the back, remove all that bullshit that's back there and uh, install this factory trailer wiring harness instead. And then Damien should be fairly close on this Ford Explorer. And uh, when he is, I'll give you a demo. Uh, with the magic of movie making, I have already replaced the uh, cover there. And uh, I've also installed my brake controller right here, which is really nice. Everything's looking copacetic and nice. I mean, it was just literally a plug and play thing there. I didn't mount the screws because I don't really want to screw holes in my panel yet um, until I find a more suitable place. But uh, yeah, so that worked out pretty well. Next, I'm going to move on to the uh, trailer wiring. guys so there's that demo of this thing I think it sounds really good I think Damien will agree oh, yeah. we're just uh, placing all this guy's storage unit stuff back into his car now and uh, before you know it, we'll uh, start be called car phonics storage and holdings storage yeah storage and holdings guys anywho all right I'm moving on to my brake uh, sorry not my brake controller but the uh, trailer hitch wiring uh, it is approximately 150 I got about an hour left in the day before I can uh, not be able to post my video again so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get on that and see uh, how far we get I may be able to do the uh, cold air intake today but uh, I'll be showing that on tomorrow's video probably all right guys so I'm midway through installing this harness but uh, my good old buddy Tom showed up hey buddy how's it going yeah uh, he wants to give me a haircut and uh, I totally need one, as you can tell. I usually get my hair cut about once every two weeks, and uh, I really need a haircut. <laughs> but what I need to do is get this freaking trailer harness installed, and then, uh, yeah, you know what? Once I get this trailer harness installed, I'll fucking totally get a haircut. That'd be great. So that's what we'll probably end up doing today, hopefully. And if we don't get it in video today, 
I'll make a video about it and put it in tomorrow's video. And again, I apologize for not making videos the last couple of days. It's just shit's been crazy hectic around here, busy. And uh, yeah, so Tom's here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, he's gonna probably watch me freaking install my trailer harness because uh, it's dirty work, you know. Look how clean he is. Holy shit, your dick's huge, bud. All right, so I removed this fucking disgusting cobble of a mess. I'm not sure why this Kurt freaking company decided to, uh, you know, make a trailer harness without the trailer brakes. Stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. So now I got the factory Ford one in there. Just like she would have been from the Ford dealership. Got rid of that cobbly, rusty fucking mess under there too. Stupid company. Making a company, you know, making a trailer hitch wiring harness that dangles off your trailer hitch and just rusts away. Got Any, I got a big ball here. <laughs> you got big balls. Actually, you got three. <laughs> yeah, I got, I'm a mutant. <laughs> all right, so everything's all done up underneath of here. I'd show you, but I don't care to because I got to get this thing out of here and Tom is going to give me a haircut. But anyhow, that's probably going to go on tomorrow's video because today is absolutely crazy. He's going to give me a quick buzz and uh, then I got some other shit to do. But I will get to that on video. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, wouldn't mind slamming the crap out of that like button. Subscribe to me too. Yeah, and I mean, come on. Do you guys subscribe to Tom? I put his channel up on my channel numerous of times. Lots of positive outside type videos. And uh, you guys can see him going through a crazy cluster headache and learn about that. Uh, again, his uh, YouTube channel name is Cluster Survivor. Cluster Head Survivor. Survivor. I apologize for Christ's sake. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Carphonics, signing out. See ya. Good morning, good evening, and good night. See ya.